we have all hands on deck this yep. morning to get you prepared for your morning commute for the rest of your weekend. So, um, Kendall, we know that you've been watching a few incidents out on the roads there this morning. Yes, we have about 11 spin outs at this oh, point. Okay, okay. Oh, a lot. We also have uh, Elisa here. Our Bill Keller, by the way, is out in Minneapolis with a look at conditions right now. Kendall will be keeping an eye on the roads for us this morning in this messy commute. Yeah, Alyssa, though, you are watching um, our forecast here today, though, and you said the, the good news is, is you're not expecting the snow to fall for, for too much longer into yeah. our morning. Yeah, just a few more of those little flurries that will continue to take up the sky. Some uh, notable totals starting to trickle their way in. Definitely we'll see these come through over the next few hours as we start to get some daylight and get some rulers out there. Now, that first maybe inch to two inches did melt down, but we're looking at totals generally showing about two to four inches across much of the metro. Forest Lake there around four inches. Brooklyn Park, four inches. Eau Claire topping off at about 4.2. 4, 4 Again, still a few flurries. Might add on a few trace to tenths of an inch, but we're watching that these snow showers are coming to an end. So we still hold to that winter weather advisory, though that's going to expire here within maybe the next few hours, if not by that 10 a.m. time frame. And then we turn our direction to that weekend forecast. But for now, we will be talking about those flurries continuing to come to an end. Even looking at our radar, they're starting to show off some of that clearing and satellite there to maybe spring in some of that sunshine even as early as those uh, lunchtime hours. So again, a few flakes there. We're not going to see really any notable significant accumulation here in the next few hours. We'll note that temperatures as we roll out the door ho hovering just around those mid 20 St. Paul 26 degrees, Maple Grove at about 24, Eden Prairie just around 27. Statewide where some of that clearing has started to take place. We are into those teens. We have 14 there into Detroit Lakes, Duluth just around about 21 degrees. So a cool start to the day and we'll hold to some of those cooler temperatures. We'll see that stray flurries might be seen with some of those overcast skies through about mid morning. But as we head into the afternoon, note that we will work into some peaks of sunshine. Also note that with it still being the spring season, although it might feel like winter, we do have that higher sun angle. So even under a cloudy sky with these temperatures getting back up to those low 30s, there will be melting snowfall. A lot of this is going to be hard to find by tomorrow morning. But with that, note that as we have some clearing skies, we'll head through the overnight with those cool conditions. So noting that any wet surfaces will be able to refreeze, but with melting as well, maybe even going to talk about some fog potential that will take us into that Saturday forecast. So a look ahead there. We'll top off today at 35 degrees, gradual clearing with light winds. Tonight will be clear and cool. Again, wet surfaces may refreeze with a low down to about 16 degrees. We'll stay on the cooler side for our Saturday, starting off with some sunshine, but we will increase some cloud cover as our Saturday is the calm before the next storm. We'll head send it over to traffic. Hey everyone, a couple new crashes that have popped up uh, really since we saw each other about seven minutes ago. This is 94 at Wabasha Street, so if you're heading through St. Paul this morning, 94 eastbound specifically. A couple of vehicles involved in this crash, obviously blocking a few lanes here, so adding some delays already this morning through the Capitol. The other two issues are not as severe. This one is just a stall or a spin out here at 610 and 169, just came up. May have been there for a while, so we'll keep an eye on it, let you know if uh, we need to, if that one needs to be towed out of the way. 212, just east of Highway. 101. We know that if you travel through Chaska, Chanhassen into Eden Prairie area, this is one of those spots that we can sometimes see a pretty rough commute if uh, at these early hours, especially when the roads are what they are this morning. So be aware of that. We already have our first spin out there in the Eden Prairie area. And finally, Burnsville split 35W at Highway 13. This is on the eastbound side. I believe this is 35W proper, so uh, directionally a little bit off there, but you can see there is a vehicle there on the shoulder. We'll take a closer look though at the rest of the map give you an idea of what some of your other commute times look like coming up in just a couple of minutes tom and hannah right, Kendall, thank you. 604 after a warm and mostly snowless winter many minnesotans were hoping to keep that trend going into spring hoping yeah mother nature had some other plans bill keller joining us live in minneapolis this morning uh, with a closer look at the roads and what conditions look like good morning bill Good morning. Yeah, it looks like the weekend is shaping up to begin and end with two pretty tough morning commutes. The overnight snow already making for a slow drive for a lot of folks heading to work. And of course, now you've got this second round Sunday night that could make Monday's start to the week difficult as well. 
First, let's take a look at the Fox 9 weather tracker where we can get a live look at some of the road conditions in Falcon Heights. Now, here's the area near Snelling and Larpenter. Our photographer turned driver, Steve Strom, reporting some pretty slick side streets in that area. So give yourself plenty of distance for extra braking. In fact, when we widen out and look at the roads across the metro, this is the MnDOT 511 map. It shows most of the highways in blue. That means they are partially snow covered. But there are plenty of pink highways as well. Uh, those are mostly snow covered, like Highway 55, pretty much running from the northwest down to the southeast part of the metro there. Most MnDOT seems to be getting the upper hand. They've got plenty of plows out there. You see on the map uh, a number of green highways already as well, which means they are mostly clear. Again, the salt doing its job. The road crews, they have spent the past few days preparing for this spring storm. Now, because there was so little snow this winter, there was really not much of the melting chemicals that were able to build up on the pavement. So crews spent the last week doing just that, laying down some brine to try and prevent the roads from icing over. I think you can see on pretty much any roadway you drive on, whether it be MnDOT, the county, or, or city roads right now, the white stripes, and, and that's that salt brine um, that everybody's putting down. When your pavement temperatures and air temperatures are high enough, um, that brine activates. Yeah, it is cold enough that the snow is accumulating. It is the ground, though, warm enough that it is expected to eventually melt, and those road chemicals are allowed to do their job and tackle those slick spots. Now, again, bottom line, uh, the plows are out, the salt trucks are out, but still uh, many roads more snow-covered than clear. Back to you guys.